trip update. Yeah, I'm going to give you an update on all that stuff. It's just, you know, what it is. Bodies come in all shapes and sizes, right, guys? <laughs> so anyways, um, on that note, let's go get some food. <laughs> I have a lot of the month planned out. But there's a lot of gaps <laughs> where I'm just going to probably just like just do whatever, you know. So this is kind of one of those days. So today I was supposed to go to BB's to do a video. Actually, I did have today planned. Hold on, I'm trying to get in here on this loser. Sorry, I get road rage and I call everybody losers. What the hell? It just changed. Like, you can tell I don't really leave my house much lately. Okay, I think this is my exit here. All right, so, um, oh no, it's not my exit. <sighs> Next one. My trip, there's just like no way that I'm gonna go <laughs> um, this year. And it really has nothing to do with my weight. I just wanna put that out there because I know that's what people are waiting for me to discuss is because I did say, I wanna get healthy, I wanna lose weight for this trip, it's my motivation. Well, <sighs> It's not smart to make plans to go on a trip to another country during a pandemic. Now, I also see people say, well, you order out, blah, blah, blah. That's like completely different than going to another country. Um, I'd like to see my grandfather. So I would, I would fly away to, uh, to Florida to see him maybe. For some reason, he ends up on the floor underneath Madonna on the passenger side. And she's trying to convince him to go down on her like Madonna would probably do. <laughs> Whoa. And then, and then I just woke up from the dream. I was like, what the hell? We can all dream and continue to work on ourselves, right? Okay, so. Mm, I'm hungry. They have, okay, here they have amazing grape leaves like the woman makes them I've been raving about them I'm pretty much gonna get the whole tray if I can <laughs> all right uh, I'm gonna go get my food I don't want to go in there I'm embarrassed because I'm wearing a shirt that you need a shirt underneath and I don't have one on oh wait oh there's gonna be people ordering now <laughs> I get mad at the stupidest things ever I know sorry guys <laughs> That took a little while. I was kind of busy. <laughs> there is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shut my car off. Hold on. Where's my tray? to come clean my car <sighs> grape leaves I need to have one right now these are the best I've ever had and inside they're stuffed with um it smells good beauty bite Krista in my I have an unboxing video a couple of videos back she sent me some chow chow to try and the jar is half gone already <laughs> I love it oh somebody deleted that asshole like where is it okay to call somebody I'm not 600 pounds but if somebody was 600 pounds where is it okay to call them a beast like you're an asshole people are literally embarrassing to humanity people want to throw shade throw shade whatever i don't care <laughs> just cleaning out my pipes <coughs> bad asthma runs in my family so the hospital's been trying to <coughs> my family doctor has told me that they didn't have the hospital didn't have my change of phone number they've been trying to reach me to to get some pulmonary testing done <sighs> see how wheezy i am no matter how fat you are that's not normal 
How is she so fat? How are you so judgmental? And how are you such an asshole? I'm sorry, but would you guys not rather be fat than be a shitty human? You could lose weight, but you can't change the karma you're going to get. Something is awakening within me. I'm supposed to do a John Wayne Gacy video. <coughs> I'll probably look like him too when I dress up. I'm going to do his death row meal, which was apparently a bucket of fried chicken, a pound of strawberries, and fried shrimp. It'd be hard to eat and discuss some of the things he did, but I, I just really don't like humanity. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, not to sound like a negative person, because I've been really positive, but despite everything, it's, it's, it's just like, there's so many weird people out there. And then that one I came across today, which somebody pointed out to me, and it's just like a friggin' man, like an old man from like the friggin' Metallica Enter Sandman video putting on a creepy wig and lipstick and being a completely fucking asshole jackass. And people like watching that, you know? It's like, okay, well, you're insulting me for whatever reason, but you look like the real fool because you are a complete dick. Like, if my grandfather was doing that, like, what kind of embarrassing human being are you? So, I'm sorry, but I don't feel like you're, you have any advantage here, <laughs> like, on any human level. Plus, yeah, it might, you know, putting that on my community post might give them exposure, but they're not gonna, their channel's probably not gonna be uh, around for much longer anyways. Because <clears throat> that's, like, direct bullying. That's, like... It's not that what this person says about me bothers me. It's just that, in general, it's like making an example. Like, if let's say I was, like, eating... I don't know. I don't eat, like, huge, 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 huge quantities of food. But eating huge, huge, huge quantities of food is not good for you, whether you're fat or skinny. And, yeah, I've said some pretty... I've said some bad things in the past, but it's always, always been when someone has come for me first. I've never just sat there and talked about other people I don't do that you know I have a hard time bottling some things in I feel like I'm gonna just explode if I don't say say certain things oh there's a line at Starbucks hell yeah oh joy they better not take all the muffins or else <sighs> Joe I'm allowed to give my opinion on my channel right thank you Annie I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna talk about what I want to talk about from now on I don't care like <laughs> it's my channel freedom of speech right you know what I do when I don't like something and I can't stand somebody? I don't watch them. Like, who has time for that? There's so many other things to do. Oh, that's okay. I thought you were close. <laughs> um, can I have a grande salted caramel mocha? Of course. And do you have any pumpkin cream cheese muffins left? Um, unfortunately, not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to, like, rush. I'm going to rush home after. I don't live too far from here because I'm like, I got to go to the bathroom and I don't want to go. I don't even think this pharmacy has a bathroom, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a public washroom. It's an employee washroom, I think only. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm going to end the stream because it's an emergency. <laughs> Adjusting my weight because it slips because the clips are on it. It doesn't fit your head, Chantel. But, um... She better grow some thicker skin around that fupa and get over it. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now in today's video, Chantel has a spaghetti mukbang from Mars. More like the size of Mars, but you know, we're used to it when it comes to Chantel. Ironically, the live stream that she uploaded before this video, she had said something to the effect that she doesn't eat large quantities of food. I don't know, I don't eat like huge, 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 huge quantities of food. But eating huge, huge, huge quantities of food is not good for you whether you're fat or skinny. So which really speaks to her delusion and the fact that she desperately needs professional help. But in the meantime, let's just get right into the video. I skipped through the cooking part. The voiceover sounded like she was on a hike anyways because of her breathing, but the dish looks like it came out great. She can cook, so. <laughs> Hello. 
Well, guess who I am? I'll give you a hint. Someone with a horrible skincare routine. I don't know what happened to all that, all those Lush products that she bought, but she's clearly not using them. Self care is part of self love, Chantal. Man, Someone on Twitter had mentioned that she's gonna wear the shirt until it just says owl, and I just about fell out when I read that tweet. <laughs> They're not wrong though. But that's the best I could do. And I have some chow chow. Because I love chow chow to eat it just like that. Alright, I know this is a huge dish, but I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, trust me. The rest is gonna go for me in the fridge. Or freezer. Or in a feature. Now, I'll be gone sauce, by tomorrow. I only cooked it for two hours instead of five because my sauce was pretty thick to begin with. Oh my god, this looks so good. It does look really good. <laughs> beauty, beauty, bye. It looks hot too. Literally, literally, the best spaghetti sauce I have ever made. Oh, the sugar really cuts the acidity. You know, you know what's so funny? I only heard about people putting sugar in the spaghetti last year. I'm Haitian. That's not something we use in our cooking, at least for spaghetti. So when I heard about this, I thought it was odd, but apparently it's very, very common to put sugar in your spaghetti because I've eaten from all type of different places. So I'm assuming that there's been sugar in spaghetti that I've tried before, but I think that's actually really interesting. I'm not claiming to be the best cook in the world. I think that's probably common knowledge that I just didn't know, but sometimes i feel like her and food it is a sexual experience for her mm -hmm. the way she gets so excited oh yes relax and i have a lot it's a got his so i just felt like dressing up it's not really a themed video or anything Okay, we need to stop doing this. She didn't dress up. She put on a wig and painted her face. That shirt is a regular shirt, so she didn't dress up. However, I do like the effort no matter how horrible her skin looks, you know? It's effort, but it's effort to dress up the fact that this is probably a binge. I'm not sure if this specifically is a binge. However, majority of her mukbangs are binges, so it's just fancy. Dressing up as part of Halloween, you know? Oh, well, fancy is a stretch, mm. but still. Now, I didn't have a Ziggy wig hairdo. Ziggy play guitar. Uh, yeah, I know. Would you like some spaghetti with your palm cheese? You know, I have a question. So if the purpose of having a big display is to attract viewers and things like that, why doesn't she start out with the dish in front of her? That could be used in the thumbnail and then take a single serving size and put it on a plate and eat that. It's bad enough she's eating on camera, but if her intent is truly not to eat all this, why put the Parmesan all over it? Why eat out of the dish? I don't know. It's like a little barbaric a lot of the time. So, so if your true intent is to not eat the whole thing, you should probably not have that in front of you and have maybe a single serve dish ready to go because of the way her brain works mine and a lot of people who have unhealthy relationships with food, she will keep going if it's sitting in front of her. At least that's what she's displayed in the past and current. Chilies. I love crushed chilies. It was just me, I would, but Pete's loves. I mean, Pete's does not like spicy food. But I, ooh, that chow chow is hot too. And they add a nice flavor. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, baby. Come and get your love. So, Ziggy Stardust. The food makes her so happy. I think I became obsessed with David Bowie and like. I don't know if you guys had noticed, I didn't react to the mukbang that she did after the pumpkin patch, but if you recall her attitude in the pumpkin patch video versus the mukbang she did with pizza afterwards, it was a completely different person. 
her life, her existence revolves around food. And that's the only time she finds real joy, it seems, from what she puts online. Um, was a big influence in my music and taste. She had really good music taste when I was growing up. Um, like Dio and Pink Floyd, Guns N' Roses, um, Belinda Carlisle. And, uh, well, I don't know. David Bowie. On the first song, she used to love Space Oddity. This is ground control to Major Tom. And then there was um, Little China Girl. Uh, The only thing I'm missing is garlic bread. <laughs> I don't have any bread in the house. Whew, those chilies are hot. Mm, I love it. You're only getting one bite. With this wig, I can also dress up as a girl from Mermaids. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life. She could also dress up as Roseanne. I saw the comparison somewhere on Twitter, but um, when she first put on this wig, for the Pulp Fiction mukbang, she did resemble more Roseanne than the character, so. Pretty woman, your wife, so from my personal point of view, get another girl to marry you. Okay. <laughs> Mermaids is one of my favorite movies. My mom and I used to watch that together <laughs> when I was younger. I'd love to have a reminiscent movie night with her, like just different movies we used to watch. Um, what else? Yeah, so that was the the song I loved back then. The music I loved back then, and um, Ziggy Stardust, probably my my favorite. One of my favorite songs is Aladdin Sane. And the man who sold the world. The Nirvana version. A lot of you probably know the Nirvana version, but Nirvana was covering David Bowie. <clears throat> Who knows? Mm -hmm. He never lost control. Um, you know, he has his popular songs like Gene Genie and Changes. And of course, in the 80s, I know I used a lot of crunchies. In the 80s, he was uh, in So she's having crumb cheese with a side of spaghetti. That and. The Dark Crystal and Gremlins. So he was the Goblin King. <laughs> so they had a whole soundtrack for that. So, <laughs> who can forget the bulge in his pants? But Sometimes she'll do that <laughs> when she doesn't know what to say. It's really odd, and I don't know. I wouldn't call it a tick because I can't really make that judgment call, but it's super weird. I keep adjusting my weight because. It slips because the clips are on it. It doesn't fit your head, Chantel. But, um, he was a musical genius. And a lot of people are influenced, were influenced by him. Like, even Nirvana, which you wouldn't get. It's a grunge band, but, I mean, David Bowie, like, the diversity in his music, like, he could just play. He, I can't remember how many instruments he could play, but it was so many. Um, Hmm. She said it. Chow Chow. Now, from what I remember, Chow Chow is some type of relish. I've never seen someone eat spaghetti with relish on the side or anything pickled for that matter. I don't know what her obsession is with cheese and pickled things. So tomorrow, I'm having my little party with Pete. 
Not sure if I'll do it live or if I'll film. What do you guys want? What do you guys think? Either one, if she does it live, I'll just, you know, edit it down like I did the one from yesterday. And if she just does a video, I'll probably just react to it. I'm here with time. Mm. Actually, I'll probably film. I'll probably act. Because for some reason, it's a hit or miss with YouTube. Oh, those chilies. The sauce, like, the meat melts in your mouth. It's so good. Like, they don't want to um, monetize certain things. Who knows these days? <laughs> but it's usually always monetize my videos, but not my live streams. Like, some of them they will. I never have that issue. My last one they didn't monetize. <clears throat> I have a feeling it's because I was talking about my weight. Or it's because she was going on a rant about a different channel. I forgot to mention it in the beginning of the video, but she went on a, another rant about a channel that doesn't even technically do reactions from what I noticed. They do more so commentary. So once again, Chantel's issue isn't about people using her videos. It, the goalpost has always changed because of the simple fact that Chantel just has an issue with all criticism. Originally, before I came along and other creators came along, the issue was it was fat phobic, you don't understand the struggle, and then other morbidly obese people like myself started giving our opinion and criticizing her. Then it became, well, you're a hypocrite because you're still morbidly obese. She's constantly changing the goalposts because the simple fact is she doesn't like criticism. If the issue was about us using your videos, then Miss Gloria's videos wouldn't be an issue because from what I have personally seen, it's commentary. And I haven't personally seen Gloria use any specific clips from Chantel's videos, but I could be wrong. But the videos I have seen has been strictly commentary. You don't like criticism. And you still, till this day, even though you've been on this platform, I want to say four or five years now, feel you have some control over that. And the more Chantel has these outbursts, it's just going to influence more and more people to give their opinion as well. So you can continue getting upset. You can continue changing the goalposts. You can continue twisting things to be something that it's not. If you don't like something, feel free to speak on it. But just know it's just going to have a ripple effect. And just to be clear, the reason it's going to have a ripple effect is Chantel cannot express herself or defend herself or give an opinion about an issue she has without doing that exact thing that she's complaining about. Just to be very clear. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know what it is, but I think I'm just going to do video. Maybe I'll start like a membership where I'll do live streams, exclusive live streams. Um, like a paid membership thing. I'm also thinking of starting an OnlyFans. It's not gonna be like a sex one. Even if it was, there's nothing wrong with that. I saw this clip on Twitter and I lit up. You know a few of us have been speculating that this is coming. So the fact that she's open to this, I'm ready. Even though I really thought it would be more so next year after my skin removal and boob job, I will figure out a way to give my commentary and reaction to these sorts of things because Chantel doesn't realize you can review OnlyFans on YouTube. It's just a specific way. I'll show you. Now, I know I said I would do topless ones on OnlyFans. I really want to get my boobs done first, just to be clear. Currently, I don't like the fact that my nipples, you know, hang down to my belly button. I personally would like to change that. It will be in the near future. Not saying if you look like that, that's an issue. I'm just saying that's an issue for me, for what I want to accomplish for my personal body. However, OnlyFans is still going to get launched next year, but as far as this content goes, I'll still review it. Ah, it's going to be a great rest of the year, don't you guys think? Only if Rihanna would drop an it's album. Be like, I want to order like a bunch of sexy plus size lingerie. Rihanna dropped the I album. I don't want like, people to get a hold of my stuff and leak it. Please. Like, if you want to see my stuff, you have to pay. So I'm going to, like, find out. Oh, she is out of her mind. That OnlyFans will be leaked within within four hours. She is out of her mind. Chantel needs to learn. Even Trisha Paytas, who is one of the most, if not the most successful YouTuber on OnlyFans, 
one of the most successful YouTubers on OnlyFans, and she has to fork out a hell of a lot of money to try to control the leaking of her OnlyFans, and she still doesn't catch it all. So Chantel has an issue with criticism on YouTube. The criticism she's going to get from her OnlyFans is going to really make her spiral. So, so definitely remove the idea that it won't be leaked. It will be leaked and there'll be very little that you can do about it because you won't even follow through with a copyright claim to take someone to court. So you definitely won't be following through with this because this actually costs more in the long run Could to try to control like this. OnlyFans creators to see what their advice is. Therapy. <laughs> I know there are going to be scumbags out there who try to leak my photos. <laughs> now, I'm not encouraging leaking of her OnlyFans. However, to the scumbag that does release them, if it leaks onto my Twitter timeline, I will look. I'm not encouraging it. However, I will look. And again, there's nothing she can do to control it. Even when I launch my OnlyFans, it will be leaked within 12 hours easily. But there's nothing you can do. Well, you can, but you have to fork out the money. And I know for sure I'm not putting the money into stopping that. So, and we all know she's not either. So. She better grow some thicker skin around that fupa and get over it. That comment alone is going to have people on the leakage. She's so stupid. Pete's coughing after two Thanksgiving dinners. So, um, then I had to put, like, you remember my Bad Fit Fun Box? I got that, like, glitter, that uh, shimmery stuff. I, like, put it over the top. <laughs> I found a use for it. And I put, like, blush on, like, different areas, like, different areas of my face, and then I put, like, a whole hi um, highlighter all over it. I just realized something. If she was that concerned, because I was really confused by the face she was making, I didn't know if the face she was making was due to something in her eye or if it was because of the concern over what she said Pete was coughing. You're not that concerned if you won't stop filming and at least go up and check on him. So I don't know if the look was a look of concern or she was panicking because something was in her eye. I really don't know how to tell the difference. However, if you were that concerned and you continue eating, food really does come before anything, which is sad. The man puts on your socks, for God's sakes. This is like one of my favorite meals. A, a homemade spaghetti sauce that's been simmering for hours and cheesy garlic bread. <laughs> I don't have any of that. Something in my eye. Seriously, I just want to rip my lashes off. So are we still we'll not eating the whole thing? At our party, but you know, it's still gonna be fun. Yeah, and you're staying safe. Have That's what's most important. I don't know what to do with it. Ramen Gatorade. Because <laughs> I don't have to drive anybody. As much as people are complaining and upset about what the holidays are going to look like, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and all that. I think what's important that we stay safe, we keep loved ones safe, we keep strangers safe, so we can celebrate next year. Yeah, is it going to suck for the holidays for a lot of people, including myself? Absolutely. However, I think it's way more important to get to next year, and we could just make it up then. 
At least that's how I see it. Actually, um, whereas my original plans, I would have had to drive my friends home, so I wouldn't be able to drink, but now I can. <laughs> oh, speaking of drinking, a lot of people thought she was drunk in the live stream from, I'm going to say, a few nights ago. I didn't get that sense. I mean, she can't sing either way. She did mention how she was drinking earlier that night, so that's her fault why people have that interpretation. However, if I'm being completely fair, I didn't think she was drunk. I don't even think she was nice, but I also didn't watch the whole live stream because the singing kind of made me tune out anyways. So through my opinion, through the little bit that I saw, I don't think she was drunk when she was driving. However, I did not watch the whole thing. So that's just my two cents. If she was, she's an idiot. But I don't think she was. I'm not gonna get drunk. I, I can have some drinks. I think that's why she's so focusing on the drunk part. You're at home, Chantel. If you want to be at home and be drunk, you can do that. Unless her doctor tells her not to drink, then don't do it. Things are gonna pick up Halloween theme wise because we have um, drive through haunts. Taking a little road trip myself. Treating myself to a little road trip. Oh, in the live stream I'm referring to, because some people may be confused, she never uploaded. She did private the live stream. I think it's a combination of two things because of the simple fact that she was playing copyright music on the stream. And also, I think the drinking allegations probably didn't help either. So the live stream's not even up. That'll be a surprise. <laughs> Doing a haunt by myself as well while I'm on my road trip. Then, She's just driving to more food. Um, starting to get full. <laughs> so I'll just have like one or two more bites. Whew. The rest of the fridge. Unless I'm eyeing it incorrectly, well, she ate more than half of it. Eating something I made for the party. I have a lot of candy. I'm giving a lot away. <laughs> Now, I was thinking of making little Halloween treat bags because I have these little treat bags and I have like, I didn't put them all together yet. So I was thinking of making up some treat bags, with candy, and putting like a $5 bill. I'm just like going to get, getting like 100 bucks worth of $5 bills. And just making all the treat bags and getting them out to like homeless people. You know, because like, oh, that's nice really nice. And have some treats. Like, they might appreciate having a treat late at night, you know? That is really nice. Now, she is in Canada. The only thing I would add to that is maybe a pair of gloves or a pair of socks and a water bottle. However, even if she doesn't do all that, I think this is a really nice gesture. So, I like that. That is a good idea, actually. I just hope if she wants to record herself putting the bags together, that's fine. I really hope she doesn't record herself giving it out to homeless people. I really don't like when people do that. It's very performative to me, so hopefully she doesn't record herself, even if she looks at it as content. That I don't like that, so record yourself putting the bags together, not giving them out. little gift giveaways, not like money giveaways and stuff, to help out during the season, like, you know, for families in need who have kids, get some toys or get some to the kids or something. So yeah, so I'm going to have a little bit more. Now, I hope you guys are liking my October, I know a lot of you are. Um, I'm here. Hmm. Hmm. Most of you do. Basically, I think Most. I, I think I hyped it up a bit too much. <laughs> you did. For me, October just means like doing a video every single day. Because my mukbang channel, it's going to be a lot of mukbangs. Mm -hmm. But um, there are some spots where I'm just like, I'm just going to wing it whenever, you know? And um, that's like, most of them. What was the four days of planning for? It's not like it was just planning. Like I did say, it's to give myself a break 
because I'm going to be uploading every single day. And I she said she needed the break to prepare for the uploading and she had a schedule and everything. So let's not try to twist it or rewrite history, Chantal. It would be rough on me. And then also, yes, to continue to plan. And I did plan some things during that time. I don't know like what high production you can expect in four days. But also, it's to get things done in my life that I know like that I would, would be a problem to do and do vlog over at the same time. So... You know, as a self-employed person, there's a lot of book people, like you don't realize, like you think it's just like getting dressed up, turning on the camera and eating, but there's a lot of like, as a self-employed person, like the whole, like, it's like there's bookkeeping you have to do and or, like, I really hate when people chew on their spoon. I, it bothers me so much. Expenses. And I know that is nitpicking, but you know, that bothers me so much. Anything you do for your video technically is a business expense. Food, travel, costumes. Hold on. The traveling and the costumes are very new to her channel. It's mostly been food, so let's not pretend there's that much bookkeeping. It's been primarily food. So there's just personal life things. I had some appointments I wanted to get out of the way, medical appointments. Stuff like that, you know? She was sitting around eating and watching TV. Um, and probably bathed once, so please. That. <clears throat> okay, maybe twice. Everyone lives a different life. Just because somebody doesn't, um, you know, have three brats running around. <laughs> and a huge house and a nine to five job. You know? doesn't mean they don't have things to do. True, but you're not that person, so. Last fight for you guys. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, she has no structure. So let's not make it seem like you have this planned out day. Mm. Food takes up 75% of her mm -hmm. day, or at least thinking about food takes part of that too. That hit the spot. Now I can go on stage. Right. Skip the stage, girl. Hit the shower. Like going on stage and dancing around and acting all weird. <laughs> I can't even imagine like her full, walking full around on stage. Some chow chow. <sighs> Spicy stuff. You know how when you see like documentaries and you see the artist walking to the stage from the dressing room? I could imagine that being filmed of Chantel and her stopping at least three times. And then getting on stage, catching her breath, stopping the song, catching her breath. Or she'd probably do a seated routine. I don't see her even walking around and being entertaining. This has been fun though. And it's not mean if it's true. But I can't wait. Do more. I don't know if there's gonna be a vlog uh, vlog this because we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how if her and Amber Lane do vlogmas, oh, I'll be here. Anyway, I'll probably do like Christmas themed videos. I don't know if I'll do videos like every single day. <laughs> There's no way her body can afford another month like this because she has really, really done some damage just this month alone. So I don't believe she'll do Vlogmas. If she does do Vlogmas, guaranteed she'll be housebound by end of January. I gotta put a good dent in this. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. That's so good. How old is she? Uh, I get really fast. I love crushed chilies. By the way, something I've learned obviously through the months, you're not supposed to feel like this after you eat. There's a good heat to it. Itchy. My whole face is itchy. I'm gonna go wash this off. Yeah, I got like a cute face paint set from Amazon and um, comes with brushes, comes with glitter too and like different things. So Does it come with a clay mask? I do wanna do like a cereal face scrub. Last meal, and I was gonna paint my face like John Wayne Gacy. So <laughs> So we'll see. 
but uh, we'll see what happens. I still don't know what I want to be for like Halloween day. I don't even know what I'm doing for Halloween day. Oh, be yourself, girl. I won't be here. You're so. evil enough. I don't know if you guys have suggestions for pizza night since it's on a Saturday, pizza will be off. I'm not sure what we can do. I'd love to go somewhere wanted, but we'll see. Anyways. A therapist's uh, office. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I really do love you guys. I have some, you know, <laughs> I have some dedicated haters, that's for sure. But oop, oop. I also have some amazing followers. Just, you guys are just awesome and you see Thank me for who I am, truly am. Oh, we do. You know, you don't believe any crap that goes around. You don't listen to negativity and you just support me and you just have fun with my channel. That's all I ever want. She's speaking of enablers and feeders and if she keeps this going, they'll be her pallbearers as well, so. That, so. The rest of us have um, sense. I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys. <laughs> and like I said, you know, Christmas season, I'd love to give back a bit to you guys, so. Um, all right. So, I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys! Well, that was the video. I'm actually most excited for the OnlyFans. I mean, I think it's a good idea she'll stick to photography and not any type of videos because her breathing would be pretty horrible, and I don't think there's a niche market for that. I may be mistaken. I'm not sure if someone can correct me below if that's some type of fetish. Although, I guess with feeders, that would be that. I don't know. Either way, if she does start an OnlyFans, I'm here for it. And of course, I will be giving my opinions and it will be a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Remember, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later. <gasps>